This prophetic encouragement is from Nate Johnston and was published on October 10, 2023. 6. Prophetic Processes Taking Place Before 2024 1. Your foundations are being reset. I saw a vision of a house that looked beautiful and magnificent, but it needed foundation work because cracks were showing. We can only build as much as our foundation is strong enough to support what we are building. The cracks are areas of our lives, character, and vision that are needing reworking and fixing before we step into the next phase of building with the Lord. The enemy is eyeing off the cracks and hoping we ignore the foundation work so he can get entry when we build on faulty foundations. God is highlighting areas of our character needing pruning and healing right now, otherwise, we will trip over ourselves when we grow in favor and influence. If we don't allow the Lord to work on our foundations, we will not be able to sustain the blessing that comes or steward effectively what God pours out. Also look out for where God is breaking damaging and destructive mindsets such as hope deferred and survival mentality. It's all being confronted and healed by the Holy Spirit right now. And for those who have been in a migratory, nomadic lifestyle for many years, I believe this also speaks of a season of deep establishing and laying strong foundations for the years to come. Get ready for a season of deep heart and soul refreshing and trauma reversing healing in Jesus' name. O oh, you afflicted one, tossed with tempest and not comforted, behold, I will lay your stones with colorful gems, and lay your foundations with sapphires Isaiah 54 verse 11. 2. Your assignment is being redefined. I saw an image of a mantle that was being dry cleaned. I sensed that it had blood and tears over it, and the Lord was refreshing mantles of those stepping into a new season but still carrying the old. I also knew this was the Lord redefining our assignments for this next season. I believe that while we are in a new era, we are actually in a bit of a boot camp slash preparation phase for what's coming, and in that, God is using this time to speak clearly to us about what we are called to. While in the past, there was a grace to run with a hundred things and cast our bread on the waters, I believe this next season's assignment is going to be specific and targeted. The grace to be spread over many areas has come to a close. God is sharpening you as a spear for a specific purpose, and in the same way, your message is about to become sharp. That's why you have felt the strange shift and departure from what you used to be comfortable in and drawn to what feels uncomfortable. Your hand has to leave the wrong plow, and you have to burn the oxen that would cause you to run to what is safe all the time. God wants you to identify your global assignment and global voice. You have a whole realm of impact and calling to that which is deeper and more significant than just a local voice. This redefining is calling you higher and deeper and removing all that is not yours to carry anymore. You can't keep carrying other people or their assignments anymore. And in this prophetic process, God is burning away and removing all distractions, keeping you from stewarding your true assignment well. It's time to pick up what you forfeited and stop handing away the pearls God gave you. 3. The monkey is being removed from your back. In a vision, I saw people walking around in a daze and frustrated because they were encountering warfare that was significantly more intense than previous seasons. As I looked closer, I saw what seemed to be monkeys on their backs. Nothing I do shakes it, many have been saying. Yes, this is another level. Just as you are being promoted and coming to another level of anointing and favor, the enemy is trying to increase his personnel to meet you there. He has had to double and triple his demonic opposition to your assignment because you have grown. And so many are facing a new kind of warfare that brings a chaos that seems to never shift. But then the Lord showed me that this chaos can only ascend so high before it is ineffective. This is a season where we have to come up higher so we can supersede the attack and get it off our radar. We must ascend the mountain of the Lord and reign from a whole new realm of authority and dominion over the enemy. These monkeys have been weighing you down and even taking you into strange episodes of sudden depression, heaviness, defeat, and mental confusion, but the monkeys have to go. 
These monkeys have not only been weighing you down, but have also stolen your voice and confidence. Watch as the Lord really goes after this assignment in the next few months, because the monkeys have gotta go. It's time for air superiority again. Take back the heights, people of God. You are the head, not the tail. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Luke 10 verse 19. 4. A Great Recovery and Restoration to the Robbed I saw the time period of the next few months next to a calendar and saw this same thing written over and over, recover all. I instantly thought of Ziklag, where David and his men had all their families and belongings stolen and made them broken and soul sick. This has been where many of God's brazen warriors have been. Tired, robbed, and soul sick. But God has marked the calendar for recovery. There is nothing you can do except bring it before Him and let Him restore and refresh you. It's time to be whole again. As I am writing this, I am seeing two clocks coming into alignment. There is the Kairos clock and the Kronos, and right now there is a convergence of time, a fulfillment that must come. Though the enemy is warred against it, watch as God brings it to fruition, but this is a people plundered and looted. They are all of them trapped in holes and hidden in prisons. They have become plunder with none to rescue, spoil with none to say, restore. Isaiah 42 verse 22 5. The Blacksmithing of Pure Voices I saw an image of a blacksmith beating a red-hot sword upon an anvil and then heard the Lord say, I am sharpening and readying my prophets for global amplification. Where they were despised and discredited due to the compromise of the company, I am raising up a new company of eagles that will deliver my words with fear and trembling and they will not apologize for what I give them to say, and they will not love their lives unto death. For right now, I am fashioning them and preparing them to be voices of truth that would shake men to their bones and bring nations into alignment. Right now, I am rebranding the hearts that become fearful and allowed themselves to be silenced, and I am restoring the cry of the reformers in the land. And the milk words of the compromised will soon become sour, and the earth will once again turn to the prophet of the Lord for the Lord's answer in a time of trouble. 6. The Commissioning of the Psalms 24 Anointing The last prophetic process I saw was a commissioning of an anointing that comes by being separated and holy unto the Lord in a time of great mixture. But what I saw was a band of wild, white horses ascending a mountain and letting out an almighty neigh that was like a war cry to the saints. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Selah Psalms 24 verses 3-6 I believe that the marker of this next great move of God is going to be holiness and God using a people who have been through the fire, purged, delivered from Babylonian ways and freed from the basket of the institution. Right now, God is jealously protecting His movements by purifying them, removing the compromised, and installing those with clean hands and a pure heart. It's a changing of the guard that is clearly separating the wheat from the tares. Why? So the King of glory may be revealed. Lift up your heads, O you gates! And be lifted up you everlasting doors! and the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates! Lift up, you everlasting doors! And the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts, He is the King of Glory. Selah Psalms 24 verses 7-10 I believe these wild horses are the pure ones called to usher the church into the next chapter. They aren't compromised by the leaven of the Pharisees or sold out to idols such as their reputation or ministry goals and empires. 
they are his wild horses that are the gates and doors for the King of Glory to come through in 2024. 2024 will be a year that we will need to see the pure bride emerge as the enemy ups his game in the nations. So get ready, mighty ones, lean into this process, and let God ready you for purpose. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natanchristie.co. Hi there, in this prophetic word, God wants you to know that God is preparing you for 2024. It's already 5784 and you are wondering what is happening. God is leading you through a transformational process. You will emerge and come out of this process and you will be standing on new foundations that will not crack under the glory to come. You will be single-minded and focus on your true assignment. You will be established in your being that you are the head and not the tail. You will know by personal experience that God is your redeemer and restorer. You will be fine-tuned to be a transmitter of God's heart and mind. You will have a pure heart and clean hands to ascend into the hill of the Lord, so you can run and usher in the King of Glory in 2024. Are you sensing that this word is for you? Do you sense God's invitation to seek Him? Have you been wondering what's happening? Have you been in the process of discovering your voice? Do you need clarification about your assignment? Now take the time to decide do you want to partner with this word or not. The choice is yours and it's for you to decide. Now if you decide to partner with this word, you can express your faith through words and actions. Faith through words. Write down and speak out personalized prayers, decrees, and declarations using the prophetic word and the verses you've gathered. Faith through actions. In your scheduled time with the Lord, seek God and go through the six processes outlined here. And ask for insights and revelations. Again, just a reminder, prophetic words don't automatically happen. You have to fight for them and do your part as you partner with God. That's it for going through the 8-step framework with me. Now I leave you with a pray along video if you want to partner with this word. Pray out loud as the Father wants to hear your voice. See you in the next one. Bye! Heavenly Father, my loving Father and Creator, my Restorer and Redeemer, the Author and Perfecter of my faith, Lord, you made everything for your purpose. Strengthen me as you transform me and prepare me for your purpose. I will come out of this rebuild on a firm foundation of Christ. I can withstand whatever comes our way. I will stand and not crack under the pressure of your glory, Lord. Thank you for revealing the mysteries to me. And I can hold on to your personal revelation and confirmation about my assignment and mission. And, I will be single-minded, Lord and I will not look left nor right. Instead, I will focus on the path that you have prepared for me. Thank you for making me the head, not the tail. Give me the heart that will love your ways and obey you, Lord. As I follow your leading, Lord, I'll always be at the top, never the bottom. For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. And, your timing is perfect, Father, and I know you will recover all. And, thank you that the time is coming when everyone will know that you are the God who redeems and restores. I am your sheep, and you are my shepherd, and as I draw close to you, you are fine-tuning my senses. So I can feel your heartbeat and know your thoughts. And I can be a faithful messenger, sticking to and delivering your message, Lord. And as the gates open, your glory will come, O King of kings, Lord of lords, through the pure heart and clean hands you have placed in me. Thank you for this process you are leading me through. Let me delight and find joy in this, Lord, because your yoke is easy and burden light in Jesus' name. Amen.